the time to give your heart. Come, just as you are to worship. Come, just as you are before your God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with, and with your spirit. spirit. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Father. We are on the ninth uh, week of the ordinary time, Tuesday. And uh, as uh, you can see, we are wearing a uh, green vestment again. Anyhow, green, uh, of course, uh, signifies life, green life. To prepare ourselves for the leave for this Holy Eucharist, let us uh, acknowledge all of our sins and beg the Lord for His pardon and His forgiveness. I confess, Almighty oh God, God, and to you, and my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary of the Virgin, holy angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. design, keep from us, we humbly beseech you, all that might harm us, and grant all that works for our good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Peter. Beloved, wait for and hasten the coming of the day of God, because of which the heavens will be dissolved in flames and the elements melted by fire. But according to his promise, we await new heavens and a new earth in which righteousness dwells. Therefore, beloved, since you await these things, be eager to be found without spot or blemish before him at peace, and consider the patience of our Lord as salvation. Therefore, beloved, since you were forewarned, be on your guard not to be led into error of the unprincipled and to fall from your own stability, but grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To him be glory now and to the day of eternity. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. In, In every, every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. 
before the mountains were begotten and the earth and the world were brought forth from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. You turn man back to dust, saying, Return, O children of men, for a thousand years in your sight are as yesterday, now that it is past, or as a watch of the night. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. Seventy is the sum of our years, or eighty if we are strong, and most of them are fruitless toil, for they pass quickly and we drift away. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. Fill us at daybreak with your kindness, that we may shout for joy and gladness all our days. Let your work be seen by your servants and your glory by their children. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. the hope that belongs to his call. The Lord be with you and with, and with your, your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Some Pharisees and Herodians were sent to Jesus to ensnare him in his speech. They came and said to him, Teacher, we know that you are a truthful man and that you are not concerned with anyone's opinion. You do not regard a person's status, but teach the way of God in accordance with the truth. Is it lawful to pay the census tax to Caesar or not? Should we pay or should we not pay? Knowing their hypocrisy, he said to them, Why are you testing me? Bring me a denarius to look at. They brought one to him, and he said to them, Whose image and inscription is this? They replied to him, Caesar's. So Jesus said to them, Repay to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, and to God what belongs to God. They were utterly amazed at him. The Holy Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Is it lawful to pay the census tax to Caesar or not? Their brothers and sisters in Christ, um, the Israelites in Jesus' time paid the uh, various forms of taxes. And uh, there was the temple tax for the upkeep of uh, the Jerusalem uh, temple, which every uh, Jewish male had to pay annually once he reached a certain age. The subject of uh, discussion in the Gospel today is uh, the poll tax, which the Israelites had to pay to uh, the Roman emperor. This tax for many of the Jews was uh, controversial on two accounts. First, it was a treason. Paying tax meant that they supported the uh, 
political claims of Rome over the land of Israel. And secondly, it was idolatry. Making the transaction meant uh, using the Roman coin engraved with the likeness of uh, the pagan Roman emperor who was uh, described with the inscription Tiberius Caesar Augusto, son of the divine Augustus. Jesus' response, dear brothers and sisters, uh, is meant to shock and shame the Pharisees and the uh, Herodians who plan to ensnare him in his speech. While these uh, people seem to project a patriotic and nationalistic sentiment by their line of questioning, they are in fact persons who compromise with Rome in exchange um, for privileges and uh, prerogatives. And our gospel story is uh, many times uh, employed to uh, define and to uh, delineate the Christian religious duty to God and the political responsibility to one's nation, as if these uh, two things were equal, yet negating each other. And Jesus uh, says, repay to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, and to God what belongs to God. God must be the ultimate the absolute end, we must be a good citizens of the kingdom. So said uh, Thomas uh, Moore, the saintly Lord Chancellor of Eng England. But we must, above all, be God's servants. So our uh, allegiance, therefore, to the state should yield to the claim of God. And the brothers and sisters in Christ nowadays, let us pray for our political leaders that they may use the people taxes for common good and not appropriate them through graft and corruption that many of uh, the leaders in the uh, the countries and the nations throughout the world that known, well known for their graft and corruption. For themselves, for their personal uh, aggrandizement and not for the welfare, the general welfare of people entrusted to them to love, care, and support. Amen. So many brothers and sisters in Christ, let us now uh, bring our needs, our intentions to God, our loving and merciful God. For all those uh, who uh, shepherd our church, May they be blessed with the gifts and necessary to guide us closer to the glory of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And for government officials, may the Holy Spirit grace uh, them with the gifts of fortitude and wisdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Uh, for uh, the special intention of this Holy Eucharist, the eternal repose of the soul of uh, Roland and Jenan Lesser, may they find rest in the glory of heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. Lord, may we pray for the Holy Mother Church, uh, for Francis College of Cardinals, 
Bishops, priests, and religious may we always educate and inspire our believers in faith to hold on to the truth and may become citizens of the kingdom. For this grace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, Lord, hear Lord. our prayer. Lord, we may we pray for the COVID-19 uh, patients and all those who deceased because of this uh, COVID virus and all those who are depressed and disappointed. Lord, during this uh, painful and sorrowful uh, agony time, please be with all of us and all those deceased, welcome them into eternal kingdom. May we always hope and trust in you that you provide for us the remedies and solutions to get over this pandemic. For this grace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, may we pray for all those who are affected with the cancer and suffering with the various types of cancers, especially people whom we personally know and who have asked for our prayers. Lord, please bless them and touch them. May they experience your miraculous hand on them. May they see a divine assistance in their life. May they be restored and enjoy the good health and the beautiful life that you bestowed upon us. For this grace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have been drifted away from uh, the faith, that the Holy Spirit uh, may uh, lead them and open their hearts in order to be able to uh, uh, be with full communion with the church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. World peace and for the special intentions of those who ask us to pray for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Loving Father, you have blessed us with different gifts and talents. Um, we ask you to hear all the prayers that we present to you today through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. There's nothing worth more that I'll ever come close. Nothing can compare. You're our living home. Your presence, Lord. I've tasted and seen. and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God our merciful and almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice, the sacrifice of your hands, hands for, the for the praise and glory of his name for our good, good and good of all his holy church. Trusting in you and your compassion, O Lord, we come eagerly with our offerings to your sacred altar that through the purifying action of your grace, 
we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right and just. just. It is naturally right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Mm -hmm. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we now praise you and with joy we acclaim. So that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit graciously uh, make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at his command we celebrate these mysteries. On the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, uh, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death. For our Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, 
we now offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one his Spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, a spouse, and the blessed apostles, and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints, on whose constant reception in your presence we rely for unfailing health. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation be brave, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world, be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, your servant Pope Francis, Myron Cotta, our bishop, and the order of the bishops, and all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life. Give kind attendance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom we bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, the glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we now dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress and anxiety, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And, and with, with your spirit. Let us offer now we started the sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Amen. <laughs> sins of the world have mercy on us have mercy on us Lamb of God you take away the sins of the Let's go. 
called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only sit in the word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Governed by your Spirit, we pray, O Lord, those you feed with the body and blood of your Son, that professing you not just in word or in speech, but also in works and in truth, we may merit to enter the kingdom of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you abundantly, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace, love, and serve the Lord and our brothers and sisters. Thanks Amen. Be Thanks be to God. God.
the spirit gives us love to reject all anger and sass so witness to his greatness don't just sit on your lawn which side are you on